Well, hey everybody, it's time to get back on this. Have some bad news though. <laughs> Never had this happen. Been doing YouTube videos for almost seven years now. Have like, what, 315 or something. And the footage, of course chaos wants to come in here. The footage that I got of getting it to this point <clears throat> is gone. The SD card has crapped out on me. Kept giving me an error when I tried to turn it on in the GoPro. You know, I tried everything, cleaning the contacts, even took it up to the house. Tried to recover a files. It's like nothing is there. So I guess it just, you know, took a dump. I've been using that card for, I don't know, about three years. Been problem free. Said never had a problem at all. And then this happens. You know, I know other YouTube creators have mentioned that, uh, you know, they lose files or something gets corrupted. I guess I've been lucky. So we're gonna have to have like a fireside chat so I can bring you up to speed on uh, where we're at. <clears throat> After I made the flanged adapter, I posted some pictures on a couple of forums because you know, I thought I did a pretty good job on it really. <laughs> and uh, one guy that's in the generator business asked me if this generator was a one bearing or a two bearing generator. And I'm like, I don't know. This is like the first kind of project I've had of this sorts. And he said, well, the original setup obviously was a one bearing because it acted as one unit. If this is a two bearing, then you're, these are, will be acting as separate units and you can't do a direct drive. You're gonna have to do some sort of flex coupling. I'm like, mm, okay, uh, that was good to know. So I reached out to uh, South Georgia Generator. They're the ones that built that. And thumbs up, man, that company is really, really good. Everybody was awesome to work with from the sales staff, to secretaries, to the uh, guy in tech. And he's probably been doing it like 40 years or so. So I sent him some pictures of what I got and you know the route I was going. And then he mentioned that this is a two bearing so I would have to have, you know, something in between, can't do a direct drive. And he said, yeah, we sell the Lovejoy couplings. So they sent me out a Lovejoy coupling and that's what I've got. Let me show it to you. It's heavy, but so there's the coupling. There's at least half of it. So bring you up to speed on this. So you guys can see that. So what I did is I made a short stub shaft to connect this part of the coupling to the uh, you know, flange adapter that I made. Good press fit. Also keyed. So key goes all the way through. And then there is a set screw in there also. So just to let you guys know in case somebody asked that. And I also pinned it. So I know a couple of you guys mentioned in uh, the comments in the part two of the video that that was probably something I needed to do. That was on the list of stuff. I just, uh, I don't know. It was a good spot to end video number two. So that's why I just ended it where I did. So it is pinned. And he also mentioned, let me set this down. You know, these thin flex plates, I had two of them. Um, they weren't going to work, you know, you needed something beefy. He said you need a flex plate, you know, at least 3 16ths, you know, quarter inch would be even better. So, the other one of these I mailed to Robert, they're a Dudley Tool right in California. And he was kind enough to draw this up in CAD for me in a DXF file. Sent the file to Oshkut and they buzzed me out this quarter inch thick plate, really nice. Had it in about, uh, well, they had it done and shipped in a week. You know, FedEx decided to send it around the world, so it took longer for me to get to it, but we all know how the shipping services are going lately. So got that all bolted up, that worked perfectly. And once that is bolted up, I've been working on getting this aligned. I got everything as right with the world as I can. And let me move this. So 
Hopefully you guys can see the platform down here. Just uh, made some spacers on the lathe and they're in different thicknesses because that, uh, that bottom mount is just stamped steel. So, I mean, it's not perfectly straight in either direction. So basically what I did is I set her down, put a uh, 3 8 piece of uh, strip stock under here used half inch bolts and kind of used them as jacking bolts and I got it so everything was level and square. And then I just, uh, you know, used a adjustable parallel, stuck it under there and then measured it. And that's how I got the different widths to make uh, the spacers here. So I think that is everything. That's where we're at. Um, not much else to do, but just to button this up. So I'll guess, you know, no need for you guys to watch me uh, put nuts and bolts together. I'll get everything buttoned up and we'll get some, uh, I guess, final thoughts on it. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll stay together. You know, I did everything what Southern Generator said to do, or South Georgia Generator. So, um, you know, fingers crossed. So, let me get at it. Well, Mr. Chaos says, quit working on that generator and throw my football. All right, bud, there you go. He got a new football, and he is just so happy. Aren't you, buddy? Show everybody your football. He's only had it a week, and it's, <laughs> it's already looking kind of rough. Squeaker doesn't even work anymore. See, that's all right, I'm having fun. Well, there it is all together. As I previously mentioned, sorry about the loss of the video getting it to this point. Nothing I can do with anything about it. But uh, let's see here, let me get my box going here so we are see can you guys see that let me throw some light yeah, zero there should come to the face well it was sitting at zero may need to find the sweet spot here but you get over here find the sweet spot See, he's gonna make a liar out of me now that I'm videoing. There. <laughs> so, zero there, and then you come over here. Same thing. You guys can see. Come over to the face. So, yeah, it's showing 20 there. But, so. About as straight with the world as I can get it. Hopefully the customer will be happy. Hopefully this thing will live. What little variance there is, I guess, in misalignment. You know, this will take up for it. Well, there you go, guys. I think it's going to be a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the three-part video series. I had fun working on this project. A lot of challenges. Welding, fabricating. Machining, pressing, broaching, milling, you know, you name it. And I thank you guys that put in comments and suggestions if you need to do this or check for that. I always welcome those. If you're uh, not subscribed, how about hitting the subscribe button? If you're new to the channel, hey, thanks for coming on board. Hope you uh, like this kind of content. I'll try to keep it rolling with the projects. Try to make it interesting never know what comes in the door so uh you know that's always a surprise right mr chaos is uh thanks for watching also and we'll catch you on the next video all right guys see ya bye